Hello, Green Bear Nation. This is Dr. Adam Fineski, your superintendent. As everyone in Ottawa Hills knows, tradition is a big part of our lives and helps to keep our schools and community so special. This year, I am introducing a new tradition, a state of the district video. It's a new way to share through images and video our accomplishments in recent years and especially 2021. Along with the accomplishments, I'll also be discussing some of the challenges we're having as a school district and the road ahead with our new community-driven strategic plan and where we're aiming to be in the next five years. The best place to start is with academics and the remarkable success we've sustained over the past five years. We maintained the smallest class sizes in the area, even as enrollment grew. We implemented a new elementary school math curriculum and we expanded our advanced placement programs by adding two new courses. These achievements led to many awards and honors. An overall A grade on the state report card five years in a row, ranked in the top 10 school districts across the state and number one in Northwest Ohio, performing in the top 1% in the nation among more than 5,000 public school districts and international recognition for our progress and programming for students with dyslexia and other learning needs. Innovation occurs every day in Ottawa Hills, and we are so proud of our faculty and staff who go above and beyond to challenge our kids. One of the examples is right here. It's known as the Foundry. We created the Foundry at the Junior Senior High, opening in August, and are working toward creating a mini Foundry at the elementary school to open in the fall of 2023. These places will be the heartbeat of learning, support, collaboration, and success for all kids. We launched an honors scientific research course that connects our students with scientists at area universities. During the unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic, we implemented the area's only live broadcasted model to provide learning options for families. Also during COVID, we reimagined instruction and extracurricular activities to ensure our kids continued to take part in many cherished traditions. Even as we reached our academic goals, we continue to provide students with support and resources for their social and emotional well-being. We added full-time counselors in both buildings. We invested in programs and training to create a multi-tiered support system for all students, no matter their level of achievement. And we continue to advocate for students helping students by supporting student-led programs such as Teen Pep, OH Breathe, Youth to Youth, Challenge Crew, OH Stand, and the GSA. Our students blossom through the pursuit of artistic endeavors, whether in music, art, or the theater. In the past five years, the Coraliers have performed twice on the stages of Carnegie Hall in New York City. Our marching band program doubled in size and our symphonic band performed in Toronto, Canada. Our outstanding theater program continues to host three to four productions yearly, including an acting out production for students in grades four through eight. In addition to the arts, many of our students also excelled and realized their fullest potential in athletics. We expanded varsity sports to include gymnastics and swimming. Our district continues to offer the largest number of varsity sports in our conference. For four consecutive years, our athletes received the All Sports Trophy for having the most competitive and successful program in the TAC. And thanks to the community, their athletic goals are easier to reach because of our Cadence Family Fitness Center. And let's not forget the complete makeover of Niedermeyer Stadium, which now has new turf, a new track, and new lighting. With the community's support, our facilities are going through historic transformations. The biggest change started in 2020 when villagers passed a bond issue that is allowing us to reinvent our junior senior high school. We also are making district-wide improvements to climate control systems, modernizing STEAM classrooms, and adding intervention and classroom space at the elementary school by relocating district offices to a new village location. We also enhanced district-wide security by installing a keyless entry system, the Raptor Visitor System, additional security cameras, and new exterior doors on both buildings. These accomplishments would not have been possible without a sustained commitment 
to fiscal responsibility. Leading that charge is our outstanding treasurer and CFO, Mr. Brad Brown. Through his office, the district has received the Auditor of State Award with no findings of recovery. The district's great credit rating allowed us to borrow money after the levy at some of the lowest rates possible. The ongoing stewardship played a key role in the district passing a new 4.9 mil operating levy in November 2020. The Ottawa Hills formula for success requires strong community engagement and trusting partnerships. In the past five years, we've implemented a new collaborative model of leadership where the community has a strong voice and always a welcome seat at the table. We see this model in multiple community-wide initiatives, such as the two levy campaigns, our coronavirus response team, the foundry design team, and our strategic plan community committee. We are proud of our strengthened relationship with the Village of Ottawa Hills and our teamwork with community groups, such as This Is OH and its focus on equity for all throughout the village. And beyond our village borders, we established a unique local partnership via the Home to Home program with Toledo's Scott High School. Lastly, I'm personally thankful for the engagement and all-in attitude from our team that works tirelessly to give our kids the best experience possible. We added to this already strong team by hiring many dynamic teachers, administrators, and staff. And we created committees and opportunities for parents and other villagers to be involved, such as the new Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee serving the Board of Education. This past year capped a remarkable five-year period of progress and community spirit. Thankfully, many great things are ahead. Guiding us into that bold new future is a new five-year strategic plan. The community developed the plan under a grassroots approach. Recognizing all we've done and the opportunities ahead, here is where our energies will be focused. Our first focus area begins with nurturing a joyful pursuit of learning for all kids. This includes focusing on the act of learning as a joyful process and allows the unique potential of each stakeholder to contribute to the tradition of academic excellence our district is known for. We will create a lifelong sense of belonging. This means we need to focus harder on instilling self-confidence and empathy that will create an inclusive school culture where each person feels celebrated and where ideas can be considered and debated respectfully. We will continue to focus on supporting a comprehensive approach to modernization by coordinating our use of space, time, finances, and technology so that we can maximize our educational effectiveness, be more efficient, and continue to raise our level of innovation. And we will leverage partnerships for truly transformative experiences for our kids. This will take collaborating at every level of the community to expand opportunities, enhance student preparedness, and offer diverse roadmaps to successful futures. As a high-performing, high-income district, we do not receive the same levels of funding as surrounding districts from the state or federal government. State funding is very inconsistent and at times can drop for districts that share our characteristics. We are doing our best to find alternative funding sources and remain fiscally responsible and transparent. Lastly, with growth in enrollment comes challenges in providing adequate space. Our promise to the community is to keep class sizes low. To keep that promise, we will remain creative and think outside the box. So as we conclude, thank you to all the parents and the Ottawa Hills community for all the support you give our district each and every day. At this time next year, the tradition of sharing the state of the district will continue. But before we go today, I have one more thing to share with you. Green Bear, come on over. You guys, it only took two takes. You are unbelievable. Thank you so much. Woohoo!